We can do another Sunday of season two anytime you want. You can <laughs> edit it and put it up on any time you want. Because boy, yeah. She season two. We got to get to season yeah. two. Well, let's let's let YouTube uh, soak up a little bit of season one and tell us if they like us or not. And uh, I think they will. I think they'll like you. Like I said, female-centric YouTube me. channels grow a Nobody lot faster than the men. Me. Aunt D and Uncle I'm Tony. Evil. Evil Aunt D and. Uh, yeah, just a shitty fucking shitty person. Uncle Tony. <laughs> Everybody's a shitty person. Everybody. Most people are shitty people. And uh, my wife is making me watch Fleabag on her 23rd anniversary. <laughs> That's not even true, but uh, I'm going to put that as the title. Not of the true that we've been married 23 years? No, no, it's true we've been married 23 years. You're not making me watch Fleabag. I'm making you make a YouTube video. On your day I've off. asked you forever to watch Fleabag, and if this is the only way I can get you to watch it... I need so content! Mm -hmm. I need content for my channel, man, and... Uh, There's other shows I can get you into. We'll start with Fleabag. We'll see how this works. I think the whole catch of My Wife Makes Me Watch will do a, th will do a thing on YouTube. I think people tune in. I think they'll like this show. I think they'll subscribe to my channel. I think you'll end up being... The biggest growth I've seen since I started doing Lucifer with I, Shecky. I think next, the two season female content thing. I know I think I made you watch one episode. Dead to me. Dead to me? Shh. That's another one. You know what? Because, like Fleabag. I think that one gets a lot better once you get in and you get to kind of, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's hard to fall in love with anything from the first episode, like Fleabag. <clears throat> True enough, but, she is a horrible person in that first episode. <laughs> and and like, there's a lot of similarities with Dead to Me. She's a horrible person, but she has her sort of reasons and her justifications and her why it... I know, remind myself of this. And uh, we're all broken. Tony Soprano was a terrible person in the first episode of The Sopranos. And that, but he was a broken, pain, exactly. human individual One of the that was just shows. kind of set into a... You know, a situation that made him made horrible decisions, and, no matter it, what he had to do. And, and that's was, where that's where I'm coming from for Fleabag, is that I? it's kind of like The Sopranos. You're like, I can't believe I'm or trying even to generate Dexter, sympathy for this person. Or even say Dexter. Dexter, too. You know, she's not murdering people. Well, yeah, she's not murdering people. <laughs> not yet. Anyway. But again, you know, Tony Soprano was murdering people or having them murdered. Or, you know, he certainly murdered his own. But again, they're horrible people doing horrible things. Different levels of horribleness. But... You know, they're all sort of, in a sense, justified in doing so, or at least they think they're justified. Yeah. Well, that's what the show is, is the justification of their horrible actions. But... And there's a lot of horror people she's human. doing horrible things. It's she's very, very human. <laughs> the screw yes, that's that screwdriver. <laughs> I was <here>. wondering what, <laughs> The one with all the little attachments. Attachments to it. It's here. Stories. If you need it, it's here. Yeah. All right, let's watch the last... Uh, is this the last episode? Season finale. This is it. First season. This is the big one. Wasn't it only six episodes? Oh, all right. Well, I love Fleabag. <laughs> She's <laughs> awesome. She's a shitty she, dickhead. She is like a friend that you would bring home. So let's. Oh, yeah. There yeah. she is. Oh, oh, look at me. Oh, the hot guy with no picture in the background. Oh, I. <laughs> Stay sexy. There's fucking tiny tits. They're hardly <laughs> there. <laughs> tiny tits. Oh, yeah. Oh, when we're 50, they're still where they're supposed to be. Hey, that's the advantage. <laughs> I'll take tiny tits any day. Oh, God. What now? There's always a stage when someone's falling in love with you that they lose their erection. <laughs> They get confused, they panic, the stakes get too high, the blood rushes from their dick to their heart, and everything is fucked. Wow. <clears throat> Sucks for the slut when the man can't keep it hard. <laughs> yes, I won't forget this, I promise. Oh, sure. Um, is Claire here yet? No, not yet. You're an angel for being here. Um, oh, Claire's got a shoe just... up, right? Or is she, she already fucked off to Finland? Bottles for topping up on the little bar just inside. 
I'm the luckiest thing to have you. <laughs> what? And, um, Wait, what? What? <laughs> She's literally putting her to work? <laughs> oh, fuck that bitch. Well, thank you. Here's the... Yeah, no, I wouldn't do that. There's no way. I peel that thing off. And yeah, I, I don't and need I, to see art that bad. I drink all the champagne and leave. I'd love one of these on my floor. It's your dad. Like a rug with perks. <laughs> I'm sure you would. But it's very securely nailed to the wall this evening. <laughs> so it can't be stolen. Have you found your father yet? Oh, yes, I think he's by the coats. No, uh, I mean, I'm in the penises. Have you found your father yet? How would I know ah. what my father's penis looks like? Ah. <laughs> I don't... She mm -hmm. went to the bed one. And she's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Connor. Uh, where are you? Yeah, she you can't did. survive much longer in this she sea of penises. She wanted the hot guy to I be in love with her. her. So. <sighs> Harry? Harry. <laughs> and put, there's Harry. With no penis. Hi. Hi. You do beg What did she do to you? We just you know, covered me in plaster and left me in the garden for a couple of hours. Could you just do something with those? Thank you. I would drop them. them I would drop them immediately. Drink a few glasses myself. There you go. Drink, drink, drink. <laughs> Fuck the sticker. She drink some more. Had that sticker on. I miss boob. So does she. <clears throat> oh, now she's good and drunk, ready to go out. See, I'd walk around with a tray and be like, "These aren't for you. These are for." And I would just walk around and drink them and be like, no, not for you. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like this. Right, this one? Yes, thank you. Or, the, or that. <laughs> yeah, let it go. I drink oh. it first and then let it go. Oh, there you go. Nice twist. No, no, fuck you. Claire, Please don't. No, Claire, he Please. came out into the garden. I don't want to hear he... it. Claire, you have to believe me. How can I believe you? Because I'm your sister. After what you did to Boo. And here's what we find out about Boo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the guy. He did it with someone else. He said, he told me he fucks someone else. I'm sorry, but you just have to see it from my point of view. Wow. You know, everyone feels like this is a little bit, and they're just not talking about it. Or I am completely fucking alone. Which isn't fucking. I should probably, um, I should probably, um, I should probably. <laughs> because men feel uncomfortable and they run away. Uh, I can't blame him. Ah, uh, it's not what women want, though. Oh, but he's just. I mean, and she's, uh, I got no words. I got no words. Just give the poor woman a hug. People make mistakes. Thank you for coming in. Should I take my shirt off? <laughs> no problem. I've uh, read through your application form. I thought it was you funny. in the cafe for guinea pigs. <laughs> Told you it was funny. Told you it was funny. 
Well, I never thought that was a bad guy. I'm glad to see no, that he comes around. No, not a bad person. I mean, just shitty people making shitty mistakes, making shitty comments, and just no, wait, is regretting this... the shitty things that they do. <clears throat> All right, here we go. This uh, I'm going to stop it here. They want me to jump right into season two. I'm not prepared to jump into season two. Are you okay? It's beautiful. Have you, have you? It's sad. It's, you know, it's... It's sad and it's wonderful and... It is sad and wonderful and funny and bizarre and broken. And it's like Ricky Gervais's afterlife. People are broken and they do shitty things <laughs> when they feel shitty and, you know, and they don't mean to. She is fairly, though, you got to admit, she is in charge of her own life. She made those choices. I relate she... to the being broken individual. I feel yeah. broken. I've made a lot of those shitty mistakes. I feel that. It's a it's, comedy. It's it not is a comedy. A it is it is a comedy and it's poking fun at the shitty mistakes she's made in life and the you know, I mean she fucked her best friend's boyfriend. Well and her again, best friend didn't know it was her, but her best friend knew that her boyfriend cheated on her again. and she killed herself because of it. But how was... do you feel about your best friend killing themselves over something you did and they didn't know it was you? But she did it. And she did it, and she died, and she never got the chance to let her best friend know that oh, she's the one she should be. I mean, oh, all awful. sorts of fucking broken. I mean, you know. I'm she, with you, but. That's why she's a shitty fucking person. <laughs> she did a shitty thing, and, and she feels like shit for it. You know, and, and that's what makes her lovable is that she feels such remorse and and yet she's still short of a shitty person well, i mean it's we will we will we'll find out in season 2 how how much better a person she has become oh she doesn't get much better <laughs> i mean <laughs> it's more of the same just a, a different yeah, i mean you know she, she she doesn't go from being a shitty person to a better okay. person so all of this this tragedy that has informed her life it's has more not hilarious actually... tragedy that doesn't make her see any better do any different Okay, uh, yeah, she, she she just makes more mistakes then and I'm, bigger then I'm, mistakes. Then I'm, then, I'm, then, I'm, then I'm standing by it. Boo is my favorite character. <laughs> and my wife made Boo me... Boo is the reason Fleabag is so shitty. My I mean, wife made me watch Fleabag the entire season one. Uh, and uh, you know what? I'm not crying like you are, but uh, come on, I, it's I beautiful. It. You have a little sympathy. It. It's I funny. It. It's sick. It's twisted. It's, it's sick. It's, it's dark. It's... I enjoyed it. Then I, I, I really think we need to do uh, Dead to Me because it's De dead season to me. two of this, and then Dead to Me, and then you can you can dead have to your me run is on the dark channel. and tw twisted and evil and funny and but people I'm, making horrible choices and terrible mistakes in life. And... I'm just saying, by the time we get to the end of those, people are going to be tuning in for you more than they are for me. So. Uh, Thank you Hopefully all for I'm watching. I'm a better sidekick than Shecky. Oh, Shecky! Oh, I love Shecky. I love Shecky. <laughs> Sherwin is adorable. I'm going to turn sweet. this off. No, no.